Hello, take 573. <laughs> I'm Diane. I'm one third of Molly is a Quilter because um, one third, I have to tell her that she's the best third. Just If you see her, just tell her she's the best third. Laura is the best third. I'm the middle third, the middle child, the awkward one, the one who causes all the problems. And then there's Molly, who's the other third. And before I go into Molly as a quilter, this the idea I'm meant to be doing for this video is a little bio on myself. Um, but I keep getting distracted and talk too long, etc. And don't look to where I'm meant to be looking. <laughs> um, my business bio is that I started Stitchscape as a place, a beautiful, bright and colourful space for people to escape away to sew together. That's how the name came. My daughter thought of it, Escape Away to Stitch, Stitchscape. You get it. And that was because I felt a lack of that sort of facility in the Warrington area at the time. And for patchwork and quilting in particular um, was the idea. And that went really well. I did find lots of other people who helped give me the space that I'd wanted. I'd wanted to get out of my back bedroom sewing all day every day on my own I wanted to have a chance for me to sew with others as well as offer that opportunity to other people as well because there's no point you get in a studio and then still just sewing on your own all the time uh, and that was that went really well it was really developing uh, we did workshops also I met some amazing people who I still know still linked with a lot of them uh, and that was amazing. And I learned so much, of course, from that experience. Um, yeah, it was amazing. And then in 2018, I moved to the Wirral. And then I found out from, especially from Jenny Dunlop, told me about this new place called Mersey Maid in the middle of Liverpool. And that's the whole ethos of that is everything, as much as we can, is sourced from the Mersey region, Mersey Made, as in M-A-D-E. And there's a cafe in there, shop, event room, and I've got one of the 10 open plan studios upstairs. And it was, that opened in November, 2019. So I'm sure you don't need telling that that was only able to be open properly for a couple of months until lockdown. Everybody loved the feel of that place. It's a beautiful red brick building and everybody walks in and says there's just a really nice vibe in there. So we will come back um, strong again because we did so well even in the couple of months, three months that we were open or so, something like that, very short time anyway. Um, that will come back. But in the meantime, during lockdown and everything, I've done all sorts of different things. I uh, started a uh, Zoom group which met every weekday night uh, for three months that was fabulous and we still connect we still have a zoom call but we only have it once a month now because <laughs> we need to get on with our lives sort of thing but uh, we're still strongly connected on there and I've also started a podcast called Patchwork Play and I'm um, this week it's going to be series two episode five it's just a bit 20, 25 minutes of patchwork play, just enjoying listening to somebody's voice and trying a little sewing project if you like. And just me trying to connect to people again. This this constant thing with me, wanting to build a community, get to give links. Not only does it help me, but it helps other people who enjoy that connection and feel all this isolation quite deeply. It's another way for me to reach out and then applied for a grant for having a long arm quilting machine and a whole pile of other stuff in the background. And here we are, me giving a bio for Molly as a quilter. We'll tell you more about what's on offer with Molly uh, and the three th troublesome threesome <laughs> um, as these videos go along. But I probably talked too much already. Okey doke. Bye.